This surprised Steelers fans. Hey, Steelers Nation, you won't believe the latest updates we have for you today. From a promising young star at a career crossroads to a legendary veteran looking to extend his legacy in Pittsburgh, there is, and that's not all. You won't want to miss what's happening with Cam Hayward. There's a twist you won't see coming. Make sure to hit the like button and let's get into today's news. The Pittsburgh Steelers' DeMarvin Leal is at a crucial point as he heads into his third NFL season. Picked in the third round of the 2022 NFL Draft, Leal has played 23 games and started six. He snagged his first sack against the Cleveland Browns early in the 2023 season, but then saw less field time and wasn't played in four of the last five weeks of the season, including the wild card round. Former Steelers linebacker Arthur Motes thinks Leal has huge potential, but has pointed out that he needs to polish his technique to secure more than a spot as a rotational lineman. During a recent episode of the Arthur Motes experience with Deke, Motes compared Leal to Stefan Tuitt, a key former player for the Steelers who retired in 2022. He reminds me of Tuitt when I'm watching, Motes expressed. He has everything to do it, he just needs to buckle down. I'm hoping 2023 was a wake-up call. Motes noted that although Leal showed promise in his rookie year, there seemed to be a regression in his second year. He advised that Leal should concentrate on refining his technique this offseason to fully utilize his athletic abilities. Tuit's early years showed a modest start, but a strong second season with significant growth in his performance, a trajectory Leal has yet to mimic. However, Motes remains optimistic about Leal's potential. The Steelers have a robust defensive line, with veterans like Cameron Hayward and Larry Ogunjobi alongside younger talents including Leal. The mix of experience and youth creates a dynamic group, but Leal's varied roles over his first two seasons might have stunted his growth. In 2022, Leal was often positioned as an outside defensive lineman, a role that was significantly reduced in 2023. Motes believes this switching has impacted Leal's technical skills. I felt personally that him switching positions as much as it was happening, his technique when he was supposed to be back as an interior D lineman wasn't as crisp and fundamentally sound, Motes explained. He observed that while Leal shows flashes of brilliance, his fundamental skills like pad level and hand placement need improvement when moving back inside. Leal, with his impressive size and mobility, was seen as a promising pick by the Steelers from Texas A&M. Now both he and the team need to work on harnessing his full potential. Do you think Leal can elevate his game in his third year? What are your expectations for him this coming season? Now, let's move from the young talent on the rise to a Steelers legend looking to cement his legacy. You won't want to miss what Cam Hayward has in store for the future. Let's take a look. The Pittsburgh Steelers might soon see veteran player Cam Hayward signing a new contract. Hayward, who just turned 35, is currently in the last year of his big $65 million deal. He's set to earn $16 million in 2024, but has his eyes on playing even longer, hoping to stay with the Steelers for another two or three years. At a community event, Hayward shared, We've talked about an extension. We'll see what happens. My goal is to play two to three more years, mostly three. I'm looking for an opportunity. We'll see what happens. I'd like it to be here, but my goal is to play, so we'll see. Typically, the Steelers sort out contract extensions in the summer before a player's final season. Extending Hayard's contract could also help reduce his salary cap hit for 2024 by spreading his $16 million salary over the new contract's duration. Despite a tough 2022 with injuries, including a torn groin and a sports hernia surgery, Hayward bounced back to play 11 games in 2023. He wrapped up the season with 33 tackles, two sacks, and more, showing he still has plenty of game left in him. Steelers insider Mark Caboli thinks a deal is likely. I think they sign him to a multi-year deal within the next couple of months or so and move on from there, Caboli noted. He's not going anywhere. I could see him definitely finishing his career here. Hayward has made it clear he won't take a pay cut, despite the team's tight cap space in 2024. This could influence the Steelers' ability to chase a new wide receiver. Regardless, Hayward's commitment to Pittsburgh isn't just about football. He continues to be a pillar in the community, exemplified by his recent work with Little Caesars Love Kitchen, providing meals to those in need. And that wraps up today's updates, Steelers Nation. From DeMarvin Leal's crucial offseason to Cam Hayward's hopeful contract extension, there's plenty to be excited about as we head into the new season. 
What do you think of these developments? Leave your predictions in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date with everything Steelers. Thanks for watching and see you next time.